Well, good evening to you and welcome on this most perfect Hello, evening everybody. for a game of football to, to which we look forward immensely. It's hardly a surprise that everybody has come here in their droves, this being a fixture that has received so much coverage in the days leading up to it. And it's good to see that we have a good contingent of visiting fans by the look of it too. The atmosphere is amicable, the conditions do bring out the best in everyone, and I think we're all looking forward to a feel-good game. Well, there's a terrific, edgy atmosphere here. The crowd trying to lift England's spirits. Fans waving flags, everybody feeling truly positive about the day. And we rise now for the English national anthem. England have gone 4-3-3. Three, three. Three. Jim, how do you interpret that? Well, one of the attacking advantages in this setup, Peter, is the impact that can be made between fullbacks and the attacking wide players. These combinations, when worked well, can be a real handful for any opposition. And we're likely to witness that again. You often see the wide man drift inside to allow the fullback to make the run out wide, and it can just throw the opposition off kilter. So that's got things on the way. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? Yeah, Mohamed Salah. And it's mainly because of his frightening pace. He's a huge threat when he's running at defenders, but he's also proved in recent times that he's a top-class finisher. Opposition defences are going to have to be wary about playing a high line because there's nothing this guy relishes more than space to run into. And once he gets there, he's gone. Yeah, hard to see past him. He'll be looking to put on a show, I'm certain of that. Foden. And played crossfield, changing the point of attack. And it's Walker. Walker made a surge from fullback, as it turned out unsuccessfully. Spread out to the left. Shaw. England, without doubt, seeing more of the ball and looking to turn it now into something meaningful. They've got to be quick moving this forward. El Neni. Great work on the overlap. Foden to Walker and here's Rashford Rice A hefty challenge but fair enough well the defence proved infallible then but that won't be the last they'll see of him can he get on to this? So, what can they make of this? And it's El Nelly. Yeah, I've had a quick review of what we've seen so far, and I can confirm we're in a shot-free zone. Oh, that's delightful. Mustafa Mohamed. Now it's El Neni. He's got the shot away! 
Oh, fine stuff from the keeper. That's very, very good. You can't ask for much more than that. And the header! He will be livid with himself. Big chance! And for a moment, time stood still. Certainly made himself a big nuisance in applying the pressure to force the error. Shaw. Rashford is onto it in a flash. Now looking to orchestrate a counter. Not many. And here's Mohamed Salah. He might be in here. Well, that is good. Super running, sharp movement. Came up against a defender, though, who was ever so determined. Pass somewhat off target. Now it's Rashford. He has found the way through. Oh, good ball. Plays it in low. Expertly cut out. Really nicely done. Well played, that has snuffed out the danger. That'll be a throw. <laughs> oh, he's not played the ball, that's a foul. Now it's Trezeguet. That's good running with the ball. Spread it left. And here's Mohamed Salah. Oh, really good feet. Well, that defending is unapologetically persistent. It's almost personal. And it had to be. And that'll be the last act of the first half. Truth be told, perhaps it's not the game that many anticipated, but there is lots to be seen in it, lots to be taken from it. Like Plenty for the key figures to mull over, but it remains goalless. Everyone, please What's the first half players. compared with your expectation? It's been a pretty abject performance. No efforts at goal. I'm struggling to remember the last time we had that. And after 45 minutes, it is still goalless. A change, perhaps, after half-time. And we're off again. Well, that first 45 minutes didn't deliver as we'd hoped. Lots of effort, but a, a lack of quality with the finishing has left us hoping that someone can step up and produce something a little more magical. Out to the left it goes. Foden. Bit of a communication breakdown there, it seems. It's gone for a throw-in. Rashford gets into some space. Rice. Mustafa Mohamed. Mohamed Salah. That has been cut short. Well, that had the makings of something quite promising, but it's fizzled out into nothing. And he cuts out the supply. Rice, Mustafa Mohamed, Trezeguet, great hit, it's run loose, who's going to get there, oh lovely, it's Salah, it's there, 
That is lovely, finished with amazing expertise. You know, what was notable in that, Peter, was the fact that he didn't try to blast it, he chose placement instead and delivered a peach. The goal scorer for Egypt after 56 minutes is number 10, Mohamed Salah. Egypt take the lead. Well, listen, a few words of advice and encouragement from the manager during the break can often straighten things out, and it's paid off here. Walker gets a foot in here. Rashford pulls it back. Danger averted for now. Oh, perfectly measured that. He's onside. It seems as if he's just had a momentary lapse and, and slipped into tunnel vision because he had good options around him and he failed to get his head up. The ball is loose and the chase is on. So, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, considering they're only one down, they're closer to conceding a second than scoring a leveller. Oh, that was vital. No, he wasn't being taken in by that trickery. Rice. And it's Walker. Now that's well seen too. They've got to make this nice and quick. El Nenny. Mohamed Salah proving dependable as ever. Another terrific day at the office for him. Well, having that sort of player in your side is reassuring because the rest of the team knows he can make his influence count at any stage. It's simply part of his package. When he really wants to, this fella scores. Threads one in. A oh, well played. Rice. And it's Walker. And it's Grealish. Neither of these two want to come off second best. Engages and forces him off the ball. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Rashford. Phillips. For Rice. Egypt can now introduce the first of their substitutes. And the break in play means they can now affect their change. Yeah, they've Some gone for more energy up front. Place. This is a clear message, Peter. Now it's Kane. Grealish. Couldn't quite squeeze that one through. A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. Foden. He's found a way past. He's in space and looking for options. Now it's Rice. Footballing with usually identifies with running room, and we've just seen a prime example. He can get that clear and smartly reclaimed. Phillips looking for the runner. Played into space out wide. Out for a throw. 
Egypt making consecutive changes here. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded, and as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think that's happened in this case. England need to give it everything they have, kitchen sink included. Confirmation that there will be two minutes stoppage time. Now that looks a decent ball. The referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. So in the end, one goal did it. An exciting encounter where both sides produced a, a genuine effort to go on and win it, but neither was able.